Hey guys, so in the last video I painted Alex and I recreated the look on myself to find out why it took me 15 hours to finish the painting on Alex and in this video I will explain you how I recreated the look. First of all, yes, my skin had better days before and yes, the camera angle is super bad. You can't see a lot of stuff I do in this video. I'm really sorry for that. Anyways, I started off with the outlines, therefore I used some white water activated paint and a super thin brush. As a reference picture for this look, I obviously used a picture of Alex since this is a recreation. However, don't worry, the outlines don't have to be perfect, you paint over them later on anyways. It's just a good idea to sketch out the positions and proportions of the different elements of the painting beforehand. Simply because most of us probably aren't able to paint a perfect lines at the first try and it's so much easier to paint over some thin white lines than over anything colorful. It's by far not impossible to fix some messed up lines you painted on with color, especially when you go over it with black or anything darker later on anyways, but outlines just make your life so much easier, so do yourself a favor and don't go straight in with color, just paint some goddamn outlines, okay? Okay, they don't have to look perfect. Next step, grab yourself some green water activated paint and try to hide your ugly ass skin. Once you're done with that, grab yourself some translucent powder and powder the shit out of your face so everything stays where it belongs to, especially in the eye area. Well, here I applied some different shades of green eyeshadow and what you don't see in the video because I went way too close to the mirror is that I painted my waterline in white, used three different colors to paint on a winged liner, applied mascara and some fake lashes and painted my eyebrows with green water activated paint. After a little bit of contouring action using some green eyeshadows, I switched back to the same green water activated paint I used beforehand to paint on some lines. I have no idea how to call them. Then I switched to a white water, no, cream paint and painted on the kanji for earth. When you paint yourself, remember to mirror a reference picture of any character or letter you're writing or maybe get some help. After filling in the nose with some black water activated paint, I mixed a tiny little bit of yellow water activated paint into some more white water activated paint to create some bone color. With that color I obviously painted every bone and my ear since it would look kind of weird if that stayed skin colored. Then I mixed a tiny little bit of black water activated paint into some more white water activated paint to get a light gray and filled in the other side. Sorry again for the bad camera angle, in the next video it will be better again, I promise. I also filled in these lines on my neck using the grey mixture. I have no idea what these lines are, but they look kinda cool, so in my opinion it doesn't matter. <laughs> then I went in with some light green water activated paint to fill in the tendrils, or however you call them in English. After that I painted on the power plant on my other cheek and as you can imagine I went way too close to the mirror again so I will just show you what I have. Therefore I mixed some white and black water activated paint again to create some different shades of grey. With them I tried to highlight and shade the power plant a little bit which isn't that easy in that size but I tried my best. I filled in the background with some black water activated paint and then dabbed on the smoke using a q-tip and some different shades of grey. And here comes the fun part! I spent about 2 hours filling in all of the blank spaces using some black water activated paint and a super teeny tiny brush. It's not the fun part, obviously. Yeah. Now that the base layer of everything is finally done, let's start with some shading. Therefore I used a dark brown eyeshadow to create a nicer transition into the green. I also contoured my jawline a little bit and then I started to shade all of my bones. I know, I know, the video material is crap. 
I'm so sorry, okay? Basically, you just have to darken anything which is under anything else or behind anything else that would cast a shadow onto it and you can use the shadows to define the lines or just separate the bones from each other. The shadows are especially important for the plants to make them look three-dimensional and realistic and it's basically pretty easy. You just have to make a more or less parallel line on one side of each plant to create a shadow and yeah, that's it. I also used some darker green water activated paint to shade the plants themselves, to separate them from each other and to create some more dimension. I had no system for that, I just painted what felt right. And there would be no shadow without some light, so I used some white water activated paint to highlight every bone and some plants. Basically I just did the same thing on the other side using some grey and black eyeshadows and white water activated paint. I hope you were able to more or less follow my explanations, but I will definitely make a body painting basic video series in the future where I will go more into detail with highlighting and shading and everything else. Yeah, for the teeth I had to use the video material of Alex since I went way too close to the mirror again. Anyways. <laughs> I used grey eyeshadow and a super thin brush to sketch out the teeth and blended out the lines upwards or downwards to create a jawline. After that I applied some cream highlighter onto each tooth and onto the jawline. When you sketch out the teeth, make sure to follow your lip line and that the outer teeth are smaller and darker since they are in the back. In my opinion the whole mouth area looks way better on Alex, I have no idea if it's his lips or my art, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, and basically that's it, I just finished the look with some setting spray and yeah, that's it. And since this video is way longer than I wanted it to be, I will just write into the description box below why I think the look took about 15 hours on Alex and about 8 hours on myself. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video!